Hello everyone, I am Karan Masru. Welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to discuss solution of the problem of the day that is flip bits. First of all, let us start by understanding the question. What does question say? It says that given an array capital A consisting of only zeros and ones, a flip operation is one in which you turn one into zero and a zero into one. You have to do at most one flip operation on any sub array. So basically what they are saying is that in the input we are given an array suppose the length of this array is n now this array contains only zeros and ones a flip operation is defined as if at any index the value is 0 you convert that value into 1 and if at any index the value is 1 you convert that value into 0 we are asked to perform the flip operation on at most one sub array now what does that mean sub array means uh, on a continuous segment of the array and what does at most one means means either we will not perform this operation flip operation and if we will perform we will perform it at max one time so basically we will select a sub array 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 suppose i select this sub array th then i uh, do flip operation on this sub array then it will become what this 0 1 1 will remain same this will become 1 0 0 1 and this one will also remain same so this would be array after one flip operation on one sub array okay now let's read further on how we should decide the sub array to perform the flip operation formally select a range l to r that is a sub array in the array a such that 0 is less than equal to l less than equal to r less than n basically it's within the uh, limits holds and flip the elements in this range to get the maximum ones in the final array you can possibly make zero operations to get the answer so now how we need to select the sub array to make a flip operation we need to select the sub array in such a way that the final array which we get should contain maximum number of ones in it okay and you can possibly make zero operations to get the answer so if the current array has the already has the maximum number of ones and if we cannot proceed for them if we cannot increase the number of ones in that then we should not perform the operation here also it was said that we need to perform at most ones so we may choose not to perform also so basically if my array is 1 1 1 1 1 1 then i do not need to perform any operation on this because it already contains maximum number of ones but suppose if my uh, array is this then what should i do if i want maximum number of ones in the final array i should select this sub array and my output will be 1 1 1 1 1 1 and 0 and this will give me the maximum number of ones that is 6 and i will return 6 okay now let's read further input for n equals to 5 this is the first example 1 0 0 1 0 is given and the output is 4 what you can do you can uh, select this sub array having two zeros and flip them so it will become 1 1 1 1 0 you will get four ones right so here it is explained then here is the second example where you can get a maximum of six ones what we can do here uh, here we can select this sub array uh, the center five elements and flip them so these two will become one these two will become one this will remain zero so i'll get three ones here and three ones here that is six which will be the maximum which they have shown here our task uh, we do not have to read input or print anything our task is to complete this function which takes the array and its size and input and returns the maximum number of ones you can have in the array after at most one flip operation so we need to perform that flip operation at max one times and after doing that what are the maximum number of ones which we have obtained in the final array that we need to return the expected time complexity is big of n and expected auxiliary space is constant the constraints are given here so now if we think about solving this problem then what we can do here is see what can be the brute force approach for all the possible sub arrays that is n into n plus 1 by 2 sub arrays flip all of them one by one and see what is the maximum number of ones which we can get in, in any of the operation but it itself has n into n plus 1 by 2 sub arrays okay the total number of sub arrays it's itself is n into n plus 1 by 2 then doing further operations on this will take even more time so the time complexity would be at least big of n square and the year the expected time complexity is big of n so how can we solve this we need to think about something efficient now let's do one thing let's understand what 
exactly happens and try to make a formula when we flip one sub array then we will try to maximize that formula okay so suppose in my original array i have n elements and out of that i have p1 number of ones initially and p2 number of zeros initially okay so i can say p1 plus p2 is equals to n now if i consider one sub array suppose this is my array of size and suppose i consider this sub array okay suppose this sub array has k1 number of ones and k2 number of zeros then after i will flip it i will have k2 number of uh, ones and k1 number of zeros right what change it will make to my p1 that is the number of ones initially the number of ones let's say final number of ones is p1 dash initially they were p1 now the initial number of ones that is k1 they will become zero so the number of ones will decrease by k1 in the initial array there were p1 number of ones okay in that k1 number of ones were present in this sub array when i will flip it this k1 number of ones will become k1 number of zeros so in the final array which i get there will be k1 less number of ones and k2 number of zeros will get converted into k2 number of ones in this sub array so i can say plus k2 now this is my general formula which i want to maximize p1 dash is the number of ones after doing at max at max one flip operation now understand this p1 is constant it is initial given number of ones in the initial array so i need to maximize this so what is it it is k2 minus k1 so what does k2 denote and what does k0 denote k0 denotes number of ones in any sub array and k2 denotes number of ones a uh, number of zeros in any sub array so basically if i want to maximize this i need to select a sub array such that the difference of number of zeros and number of ones is maximum in that so for example here uh, if we see here here we selected two zeros and there were no ones so what happened was initially i had four ones in this sub array there were uh, what is the difference of number of zeros and number of ones the difference is two zeros and zero ones so i get plus two so i get six number of ones right now suppose i select this sub array here there are three zeros which will get converted to one but there are two ones which will get converted to zero so the difference between them would be three minus two so i'll get one more one so what will be the final number of ones if i convert this if i flip this sub array initial one four and then i got three new and my two old ones that is this will get now become zero so the difference between number of zeros and number of ones is what three minus two that is one so finally i have five number of ones yes if i do this operation it will be one 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 zero zero one there are five number of ones but maximum i will get here so basically to conclude i need i need to find a sub array such that number of zeros minus number of ones is maximum so that when i do the flip operation the zeros becomes one and ones become zero and in the final array i get maximum number of ones now let's talk about its implementation so now if we think about implementing this problem we want to implement it in big o of n time so if we think about we need number of zeros minus number of ones to be maximum and we need to find such sub array can we solve it using maximum sum sub array problem algorithm the kadanes algorithm which we use see we solve maximum sum sub array problem in big o of n time so can we convert our problem into maximum sum sub array problem what i can do is i can take all the zeros as ones and all the ones as minus one in my original array now the maximum sum sub array which i'll get for this array which contains one and minus one will have number of zeros minus number of ones to be maximum for example if i have one one zero 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 one zero zero one right i converted one to minus one and zeros to one okay now if i find maximum sum sub array where it would be it would be this one the sum of this is how much four 
which is nothing but number of zeros minus number of ones in this sub array that is 4. So, this is my maximum sum sub array, right. So, after converting the given array into minus 1 and 1, we will convert 1 into minus 1 and 0 into 1. If we find the maximum sum sub array, it would be nothing but the sub array with number of zeros minus number of ones to be maximum which we want. So, what I can do is, I will convert these uh, 0 into 1 and 1 into minus 1. Now, for this, I will find maximum sum sub array and I also need to note down the year starting and ending index. For example, year L that is the starting index of the maximum sum sub array is 2 and the ending index is what? This is 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So, R is 7, right? Because I also need to flip them. So, how we will maintain it? We will see it in the actual code that would give better understanding. But what I will do is I will find maximum sum sub array. I have got L and R, okay? The starting and ending index of maximum sum sub array. Now, I will again convert back this into the original 0 and 1 array. So, basically wherever there is 1, I will convert back it to 0 and wherever there is minus 1, I will convert back it to 1. Now, I have zeros and 1s. Now, for index L to R which gives me maximum sum sub array, I do, I will do a flip operation which will convert zeros into 1s and 1s into zeros. So, basically now I have an array which contains maximum number of ones. So, simply I loop over this array and count the number of ones and that would be my answer. I will return it. What would be the time complexity? Time complexity would be big O of n because we are finding maximum sum sub array using Kadane's algorithm which takes big O of n time. What would be the auxiliary space? What would be the auxiliary space? See, we will be taking some variables to operate. Otherwise, we, uh, we will convert the original array into 1 and minus 1 and again back to 0 and 1. So, we will not take any extra array, just some variables to operate. So, auxiliary space would be big O of 1 that is constant. Now, let us look at its actual code. So, now if we talk about the actual implementation, what I have done here is I have taken a variable sum in which I will store the temporary sum of sub arrays, right? And I will compare it with the maximum sum which we do in Kadane's algorithm. I have taken L and R to store the starting and ending index of the current sub array which we are looking at. The sum max variable will store the maximum sub array sum out of all the sub arrays and answer L and answer R will store the starting and ending index of the maximum sub array sum, okay? And this answer finally will return number of ones in the final array which we will use later. So, what I have done is first of all, I have converted the ones into minus ones and zeros into ones. Then I have taken sum as zeros, so starting and ending index as zero and some max I have initialized this a of 0 and answer l equal to answer r equal to 0. Why? Because 0 index itself is a sub array. So, that can, I have initialized that as max. Suppose this is max. Now, we will explore further. I will start with r equals to 0 and I will go up to uh, n minus 1. I will add the current value to the sum. If it is greater than sum max, then I will do sum max equals to sum. Answer l equals to uh, the current, the starting and ending index of the maximum sum sub array equals to starting and ending index of the current sub array which we are looking at. So, answer underscore L equals to L and answer underscore R equals to R. If sum is less than equal to 0, I will again make sum equals to 0 and do L equals to R plus 1. So, basically in Kadane's algorithm, whenever we are taking a sub array sum and its sum gets less than equal to 0, we again start with sum equals to 0, right? Because Carrying forward that negative value will not increment our sub array sum, it will definitely decrement. So, now suppose we are looking at this sub array, this is L, this is R and its sum is less than 0. Suppose it is equals to minus 5. Now, so we will not carry this forward, we will do sum equals to 0 while finding maximum sum sub array. So, now what I will do is I have, I am neglecting this part and this will be my new beginning. So, L will be equal to R plus 1, the starting index for the next sub array which we are considering will be R plus 1 and R will automatically go to R plus 1 when we will loop. So, if sum is less than equal to 0, I have initialized sum equals to 0 and L equals to R plus 1. That is, now we will look at the new sub array and I'll, um, R plus plus will also make R equals to R plus 1.
so once we have got maximum sum sub array uh, value in sub under sum underscore max variable and answer underscore l and answer underscore r variable representing the starting and ending index of maximum sum sub array i'll convert back my array into the original array so minus one i'll again make it one and one i'll again make it zero then if sum underscore max is greater than zero what does it mean see we converted one into minus one and zeros into ones now suppose in the original array a there are only ones then this will be converted to minus one so my max sum underscore max value would be what minus one so if it is not greater than zero what does it actually represent it actually represents number of zeros minus number of ones which we have maximum in any of the sub arrays if it is not greater than or equal to zero we should not flip up any of the uh, numbers why because we need to do this operation at max ones if already all are ones we will not flip it this already gives me the maximum number of ones so if sum underscore max is greater than zero then starting from answer underscore l to answer underscore r i'll flip the bits so a of i equals to one minus a of i one will become zero zero will become one then i'll loop over the array i have got the uh, array with maximum number of ones i'll add all the variables so basically number of ones will be added to my answer zero will contribute to nothing and i'll return my answer now let's submit this code submit it so we have solved this problem successfully i hope you have understood this solution completely thank you